guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my postpartum basket. Before we even get into this video, disclaimer, just know that I'm really health conscious and I really like to use organic products and more natural products. So if that's not something that you're interested in, please just exit the video or just don't leave any like comments down below because everybody has their preference of what they like to use on their body. So with that being said, let's dive in right into the video. So I bought two of these caddies and they're from the brand Milla Milli. I'll leave it in the pinned comment and the description down below. Uh, I bought two of these, one for my breastfeeding bag and one for my postpartum bag so that I have these caddies in the bedroom with me right next to me on the floor because within those six weeks of recovery or whatever the within six to twelve weeks of recovery I'm going to stay in bed let my husband do the cleaning let people help me as much as I can because healing is super important when you're having a baby I definitely do that that is like my number one tip for postpartum care rest 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 as much as possible you just had a baby it's super traumatic it's such a big change and transition in your life so it's super important for you to rest to allow that your uterus to go back to its normal size also for your body to heal it's so important to rest at this time as much as you can with that being said let's dive right into what's in I also have this basket as well so I'll start off with what I had in my bathroom so I bought this basket from like the dollar store to put all of the all the diapers, the depend diapers, whatever you want to call them. I did buy these boutique ones. I thought they were really cute, like at least to make you feel a little bit better. Honestly, you're not even gonna care when the moment comes. I bought these. I just wanted to say I did not realize that they had fragrance in them. I do live in Misawa, Japan, so it does take a long time for packages to get here. It's a pain in the butt to do returns. So I bought two bags of these, just kept them because I just didn't want to deal with it. They do have fragrance in them. I did not know that they're scented because it doesn't even say on the bag that they're scented so just know it has fragrance in it which is super toxic but I still use them a lot mostly I used a lot of the hospital diapers because they do give them to you and they were just easier to put on at the time also I'm filming this video after I already had a baby so it's great because I'll give you tips of what I used and what I didn't. So I had two bags of these and I just took the diapers out and I put them inside this basket and I put it under the sink next to the toilet. It was so easy. I didn't have to fuss around. These were the diapers that the hospital gave me. They were a lot better because they were a lot bigger. It was just easier to get after having the baby. I have some pads in here. I bled for six weeks. So this was like when the bleeding was like going down uh, a lot more calmer. I have a big thing of Tux and the Tux cream. This is really great if you get hemorrhoids. I had hemorrhoids after birth. I had them twice during pregnancy. They're literally the worst thing ever. This only helps so much, but it's something to have. So just let me know if you get hemorrhoids. This might not really help. Hemorrhoids are the worst. Just, just gonna say that. I have Clariderm, which is from Young Living. So what you use with this is you use it as a like a perineal spray for your private area. So that's what I got this. So you're, if you're interested in that, I do work for Young Living. My member number is down below, but message me on Instagram if this is something that you're really interested in because this is so helpful if you do have burning after giving birth and whatnot. So there's the Clariderm and also they have Lavenderm as well. I use the Lavenderm to make my padsicles for the baby. I mean for postpartum recovery. I also have these panty liners that I got from Natra Care. These are clean, organic. I literally could not find Depend diapers. Uh, not Depend diapers. Sorry, I keep calling them Depends. The diapers, postpartum diapers. I saw a video that someone found organic ones. Maybe I'll look for them and see if I can find any. I'll leave it down below. Again, I was pregnant, whatever. Things happen, okay? So let's get into what I have in the caddy. I do have my three set, three set support for after having a baby. I wore this for six weeks, for almost six weeks. Every time I went like walking or to the hospital, this is super, super important for helping feeling like everything is held together. But also if you have a C-section, this is really, really helpful. That area, like so that 
like you feel protected because it's like an incision across your lower abdomen and near your uterus it get like really uncomfortable it does have three pieces i only used two pieces again everything that i talk about i will leave in the description box down below so this is definitely super important for postpartum recovery the next thing i have is this heating bottle it comes with like a little a little clothing item on top of it but anyway that's to protect your skin and it's this heating bottle that you heat up you put in hot water and you can use this for when you have cramping or for your back i only used it once to be honest with you but this will be good for like future use like when having your menstrual cycle and you want like a heating pad or you don't have a heating pad or this the pressure can help as well not that useful so for me then i have my also my cold pack that's in the freezer this is just the cover for it in case you want to use cold but you want to try to use warm warm is like the best the next thing i have in here that i bought that i have not used yet but these are a set of yogi eggs they're not necessarily for postpartum because you need to heal but it's for like after postpartum to help you do like kegels to help you know build strength for your vagina so i bought this and it's rose quartz and i bought it off of amazon i have not used it yet but I definitely want to start to get to use it. It's helped to strengthen your pelvic floor so that it can help you with intimacy. It could help you just in general, like if you have incontinence throughout your postpartum, this is super, it's super important to strengthen your pelvic floor, but you could use this after postpartum as well. The next thing that I have is this sits bath herbal combination of herbs in two different packets this is really important for healing when you're bleeding and just healing in general but also if you have hemorrhoids this can really help this is a postpartum herb bath i got this birth songs botanicals and this is the sits bath sits bath is, there's different words for it but this is a blend as well you honestly i use this a lot because i had hemorrhoids but you can honestly mix up herbs yourself look up recipes online this is just easier when you know you're preparing to have a baby <laughs> i didn't even open this one yet i could still use this as a yoni steaming as well and i also have a sits bath i will show you guys i have this uh, pink peri bottle i never used it because they gave me a, a peri bottle in the hospital and i just used that to clean i got to keep it home now i use it for my son's bath it's really nice the nurse gave me that tip use this when you start taking the baby a bath because it's easy to like rinse them off so that's a tip for you guys as well but i didn't even use this because the hospital provided you one i don't know if the hospital will provide you one wherever you live but if you're on the base in misawa they will provide you one so the next thing that i have is a muslin cloth here yeah just just to have it you never know i made this essential oil blend with a carrier oil for cramping you know because after you have a baby your uterus contracts to go back to its normal size so you will get cramps so i made this i think i only used it once to be honest because personally for me i did not get cramps but that's a whole other story of why I didn't get it. And I will be explaining that in my birth story video. This is a cramps oil and I believe it had the Young Living Essential Oil Sclerosense in it. So that's just a blend. Again, if you want like tips on oil blends and stuff like that, message me on Instagram. I used the Young Living Comfort Tone. I actually never used this, but I bought this. This is a brand new bottle. As you can see, it's closed, but I bought this it's an herbal su supplement for constipation because they say that a lot of women after having a baby go through constipation, have a really hard time going to the bathroom. So this helps support normal digestion. My uh, friend said get comfort tone. I never had to use it because of course I would get the total opposite and I had loose stool. I had extreme diarrhea. I know that's TMI, but I mean, we're talking about birth here. So that's what happened to me. So I never had to use it. Comfort tone is a really awesome uh, supplement if you're looking for something like that. Then I have my sleep mask because I'm obsessed with this thing. I sleep with it every night so there's other different things that i have in here i have these two wish garden bottles 
of After Ease. This is herbal tincture. Again, I'm very health conscious. I love organic. I love oils. I love I love tinctures. I love herbs. So that's where I focus everything on. Like there's a place, you know, for Western medicine and stuff. But I try the natural remedies first. So this is also to help with your uterus and for helping with cramps and stuff. So I have two bottles here, two fluid ounce and one fluid ounce. But again, I didn't have to use it. Again, that's for another reason. So I have this organic peri a uh, perineal I think I'm butchering the name right now but I can I just can't focus on pronouncing it right I got this bomb and I also got the perineal sprays I got two of them from Earth Mama I didn't have to use this I wound up having a c-section I did not need to use any of these stuff but if you have a vaginal delivery you're gonna want to get all of this goody stuff then the last things that I have in this basket is more Young Living stuff. I have these Peace and Calming and Lavender Strip just to like to have to keep me calm and in the chaos. And I also have Aroma Rings. They're Aroma Ease and they're like literally rings that go into your nose. That's good for like nausea and feeling lightheaded or whatnot. I did put those in the nursing baskets as well. Last thing that I have here is my sachet of oils. Endoflex, which is really good for like thyroid stuff. I have thieves in here. This is where I kept my cramping oil, my endoflex. That is all that I have in my postpartum care caddy. Okay, so this is the sits bath that I have. I bought it on Amazon. I'll leave down the link of it from down below. It comes in this little bag. I only use this a couple of times, but it goes right on the toilet. You put the herbs in, you heat up the herbs, and then you sit on the toilet for 15, 20 to 30 minutes to let the herbs absorb into your body and help you heal. It's so important to heal in this time, and I like to as much natural things as I can. With that being said, I did have a C-section. I also was on medication. So that is everything I have for you for my postpartum basket, caddy, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was a little bit helpful for you. Let me know down in the comment what was helpful for you. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel to keep up with me on a weekly basis. Bye guys!